a while ago, which I would say seven, eight years now, I was in an accident. Nothing happened anyways. But I made a covenant of God I will never be in any accident in my life again. Amen. Come on. Since Amen. then, I have been in five different situations for accidents. Wow. And none of them happened. Amen. 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 And the most recent was two, three weeks ago, two weeks ago. Along the highway, going back south, I was with Prophet Zindon. And uh, normally I'm very relaxed, you know. When you are aware of the covenant, you are relaxed. Amen. Come on. I was sleeping. I was not even just sleeping, I was snoring behind the back. Confidently. And in the middle of my sleep, the car started slowing down on the highway. Yeah. And I started smelling something that was burning. Yeah. And he stopped. And we came down and we checked the wheel. It so happened to be. It so happened to be that the tire of the vehicle at the right hand corner, at the right hand corner behind, had pulled out. And just a few meters more, it would have been a very dangerous accident Jesus. on the highway. I didn't even notice it because I was checking with sleepy eyes. He asked me to check if anything was wrong. And I was, oh my goodness. And I was just checking. And as I was about to get back into the vehicle, I opened the door to go back. He said, something is wrong with this car. This car had to wreck. I stopped and I turned and he told me that the tire had pulled out. I didn't even notice it. Jesus. He was the one that noticed it. Jesus. And we had to wait three hours up until 12 o'clock for the wrecker to come. And when the wrecker finally came, as soon as the vehicle got up on the wrecker, the tire came out. Amen? Amen. Amen. The tire came out. I know me, I don't have time. I can share my testimony from that to one. Amen? Amen. Amen. Nobody's life is guaranteed. Then. No, it's not. That's right. Amen? Amen? Every day you wake up, you should thank God. Yes. I was telling people today in the church in San Fernando, if you can't thank God for your life, you can't thank God even if he gives you a million dollars. Amen? Amen? If you are judging the guarantee of your life by the abundance of what you have, that means you don't value your life. Yes. If you can't thank God for the breath in your nose, yes. even if God comes down himself to give you a million dollars in a bag, you will thank him. Oh, yeah. We need to be grateful. Amen. 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 As you share your testimonies, God will continue to give you more. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Amen